guys, I'm back and I hope you've been enjoying my other videos. These past couple weeks have just been so busy. On April 3rd, my two little nephews were born and I'm so excited to finally be an auntie. But I have been meaning to post videos at least once a week and hopefully I could even do twice a week. But today I have this makeup tutorial right over here. It's like a nice sea green look. Um, the eyeshadow actually looks blue, but I love it. Um, and it's kind of like, I want to say natural, just, I don't know, it, it kind of blends really well. I love it. And, um, yeah, well, I'm just going to jump right into it. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to start off using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I love using my fingers to spread this all over my eyelids. For my brow bone color, I'm going to use Too Faced Vanilla and I got this color in their Bon Bon palette. Excuse my fingers throughout this whole video, I have black eyeshadow on them because I kept taking out my eyeshadows from my Z palette. For my upper crease area, I'm going to use the Cow Cosmetics shade in Latte. For my crease color, I'm going to use the Too Faced Coffee Bean that also came in the Bon Bon palette. As you can see, I first grab a flat brush and pat the color into my crease and then I grab a blending brush and softly blend it up. For my lid color, I'm going to use the Urban Decay shade in Shattered and I got this one in a a palette years ago and I forgot the name of the palette but it had a skull and crossbone on it. I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush and spraying some Max Fix Plus on it and gently patting the eyeshadow on my eyelid. Another thing I love about this eyeshadow, it's kind of weird. Sometimes it appears more blue and then sometimes you see a little more of the sea green in it. I'm gently patting coffee bean in the corner eyelid and blending it up. For a little more definition, I'm going to grab the Too Faced Licorice Latte that was also in the Bon Bon palette. And I'm just patting that on the lid and kind of blending it up but not as much as what I did with the coffee bean shade. I grab the clean fluffy blending brush to make sure all the colors blend nicely together. So I'm using the Laura Mercier eyeliner in Noir and I'm just trying to make a very fine line. I don't really want the eyeliner to be too dramatic in this look. the NYX Cosmetics Eyebrow Gel in the shade Brunette and I'm using a flat angled brush to lightly fill in my eyebrows. I'm using the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. I do get quite a few breakouts, that's the reason why I purchased this primer, but since it does have 1% salicylic acid and I do have dry cheeks, for me personally, I can't use this on a daily basis. For my foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I just purchased this a few days ago so I believe it's a little light for me because I did go to Palm Springs and got a little tan. To 
conceal and brighten my under eye area, I'm using the NYX HD Concealer in the shade CW05. I'm setting my whole face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. For my under eye area, I'm using the Too Faced Coffee Bean and applying that with a pencil brush. I'm going to grab a more fluffy pencil brush and apply Cal Cosmetics Latte right underneath Coffee Bean, that way it blends nicely. For the inner part of the under eye area, I'm going to apply the Urban Decay Shattered Shade again. I'm using Max Nylon to highlight the tear duct area and at first I grabbed a small brush because I wanted a little bit of highlighting but then I decided to just grab a small blending brush and just add a little bit more. I did forget to record one part of this look and I believe it does add a little more brightness to this makeup and that is to add MAC Cosmetics Fascinating Eye Coal to the waterline. I'm just curling my lashes to prep them to put false lashes as well as adding a little bit of mascara. I like this look with or without lashes but I decided to use the Ardell 110 lashes because they're very natural but they make your eyelashes look a little more um, distinct. with MAC bronzing powder in the shade Refined Golden and I like using a fluffy brush that way I don't pack on the bronzer too much it's still buildable. To highlight I'm using something a little bit different and it is the Pop Goes the Shadow Elizabeth Mode in the shade Champagne and I believe I got this in one of the Ipsy Glam bags and even though it's a shadow I love using it as a highlighter. For blush, I'm using Makeup Geek Summer Fling as well as Romance. And the reason why I chose both of these is because it gives the skin a little more warmth as well as a little bit more of a glow. Before I move on to my lips, I want to make sure I cover my eyelash glue with a little more eyeliner.
I'm going to shade in my entire lip area with the Makeup Forever Waterproof Lip Liner Pencil in 23C. The lipstick I'm using is Makeup Forever Rough Artist Intense 22. Because I think this lipstick is a little too nude on me, I like adding a little bit more color using the Essence Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss in the shade My Favorite Milkshake. You could skip this next step, but what I'm doing is grabbing a little bit of concealer and making sure my lip area looks nice and clean. I almost forgot to apply mascara to the lower lashes. This really makes the eyes pop. I like using setting spray because especially if you have dry skin, it really helps the foundation and powder look a little more natural. So there you go, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as follow me on Instagram and check out my website. With much love and beauty, I'll see you next time. Good, 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 good. To the wave. Oh.